Do you think an orchid will ever be able to tell its story? Do you think a flower will one day tell us where it was grown? How it was treated? Or how it got here? Do you think it's possible to teach traffic to speak? Do you think a car can call an ambulance faster than a phone? Do you think it's possible for devices to automatically deliver important, often life-saving data to those in charge? Can you imagine an ambulance that gathers critical information before arriving at the hospital? And that a patient could be examined before he even enters the emergency room, saving precious time. For the patient and his family. None of this is science fiction. It's all part of a concept that our team has been working on for several years, the Internet of Things. The main challenge for making this dream come true is finding a way to connect many different applications and technologies in one coherent network. The thing is they are not connected. For instance, there are six different systems at work in our medical example. We call them silo applications. Before the devices can talk to each other, we need to provide them with a common language. In other words, a set of design rules, protocols and interoperable technologies. That's exactly what IOTA does. It installs a sort of grammar. IOTA's first task is to identify the basic components of each application silo. Next, all those components must be broken down into smaller elements. IOTA now arranges those elements into a more general framework the IoT Architecture Reference Model, ARM, for building a never-ending variety of IoT applications. The IoT ARM is a sort of compendium for a common language of the Internet of Things, a toolbox for developers. So yes, in the future, things will talk to us and to each other to make our lives easier and safer. And we will make them talk.